everyone, this is Sally Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and I have more tips for working with designs in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Yesterday, I put up a video on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel that shares a little bit, a glimpse into the new Caesar Leonardo Apprentice, which is AI generated images and things you can start searching for in that in to create your own designs or to work with things. It's fun to play around with. And I showed how to select by color, which is going to be very important with working with these designs. But after I recorded that and I started to work with these designs, I found that they do need some cleanup. And I mentioned that in the video. So that video is linked in the description below, as well as the video from Caesar regarding the apprentice. Check it out, do the um, play around with that, do that on your own. But I wanna show you some things that are going to help you when you are working with images. So I'm going to do two different images today to show you how I would work with those and clean those up. There are a few different steps that I'm going to take, and this is going to be a video. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm not going to speed it up. So I'm going to show you in real time because that is what I have been asked by many members in my Facebook group to put those videos out to show the process. So I'm going to keep this as unedited as possible to provide that experience and show you that it's not as quick as 30 seconds that it gets done. It is not hard, it is, it is not time consuming, but I wanna share with you the process. So I have pulled in, this is the original image. I didn't change anything on it except deleting the background, which I showed in the previous video. Once I started working with it, there's some things that need to be adjusted here. And it's not just a simple one click. So I wanna come up here, I'm gonna choose the view and show dark mat so that you can see this on the screen. Now what you'll see, there's a couple things that I noticed here. I'm gonna zoom in on this design. We have white, black, and orange, which I showed you how to select by color easily and group those together. But as I started looking at this design, if you were to go to cut this design, it is not going to cut perfectly. It needs some work. So we have some white up here in the tree. We have these white backgrounds, some of which you may or may not want. We have this orange. Again, this is AI generated image. It's shooting fire out the center of this log. I don't know. But I, as I started to look at it, I noticed that there was problems. So let's take a look at this. I'm gonna show you the steps that I would take for working with this image. This orange here, if I move it out, it is gone and I could, I don't need that anymore. Or I'm gonna hit undo, actually what I'm gonna do, undo all the way back. So kind of to match on this side. This, let's see what we have here, orange and black. So orange and black, those two pieces are separate. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select both of those. I'm gonna come in here, let's zoom in a little bit more. And every design, as you'll see as I get into the more of this process, each one can be a little bit different. So this one here, the orange is separate from the black. In this case, what I'm going to do, I don't want the orange to show. I could just simply change that to white. So if I come over here and choose a white color or use my eyedropper and pick the same color. That's the, probably the best bet. You still have these pieces though, and I don't necessarily need that. So I would probably, again, I said I'm not gonna edit it, so I'm gonna just leave that in there. Um, you could leave it like this. It should cut, once you have all of those white pieces connected, if you were layering this with final, it would be just fine. If you wanted to knock it out, you would have to have a completely different process anyhow. Now, I, wouldn't, I don't know that I wanna put a campfire on my shirt. So I'm gonna hit F4 to zoom out. And then I'm just gonna come back over here. This orange piece here and this black piece are separate. I'm gonna simply change that color, use the eyedropper tool, grab that, and it should be the same color there. So if we zoom out here, F4 again on my keyboard, now I have those pieces. If we take a look here, I have a white piece on top of a black rock. 
Now you could layer that white vinyl on top of a black rock to get that look. Or if you wanted the shirt color to show through, you would select your white piece, hold your shift key down, select your black piece, and then if you right click and you choose paths and combine paths, that's going to break that out. So I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna be working with that a little bit more with this design. In this case, I'm not sure what my final purpose is, so I'm actually going to undo that. And it's still separated. And I can come back to it and decide in a little bit. So F4, I'm gonna zoom out here. What I did notice, the biggest things I noticed is like the white here, let's see, I'm still on zoom. The white here, these are all separate pieces. If you look at this, it's all separate pieces. And yesterday I showed you how you can select all those and group them together very easily with select by color. But do I need those? I don't think I do in this case, but you could, you can decide that along the way. What I do know is like this white piece, if I move that out of the way, it doesn't cut out of the black. So if I were to put this on a shirt, it's gonna be two layers. That doesn't really look right to me. And this piece here, that white is the same. So in this case, you would see whatever is behind that tree. It's not gonna be that I cut out white vinyl and put that onto my shirt to fill that hole. So I don't think I need it. So I'm going to click on this white piece, hold my shift key down, click on this bottom white piece, and then also click on the black. And then right click, choose paths, combine paths. And that's going to take that white out. Now it also, if you notice, it also brought the black to the front and there's pieces here that are behind it. So if I right click and I choose order and choose send to back, it's gonna make those white pieces show up again. So we have a few more up here. Like, do I really need this? It is actually, oops, let me grab the right one. This one, when I move it away, I don't need to make that com or compound path is what it really is in other software, but um, combined path. I don't really need to do that here because this is a completely separate piece that would be cut. So actually I can just choose delete here. But if I come down here and move these away, you can see that it, it's not cut out. So in this case, I wanna check all of these pieces. Undo is going to be your best friend. So all of those white pieces are on top of the black. I'm going to click on one, hold my shift key down, click on the others, and then first, actually, I'm gonna do this all at once. This white piece here, to be honest, yeah, let's see what happens. Select that one, hold my shift key down, select the other white pieces, and then click on the black to select it, right click, choose paths, and combine paths. Now, the more you do this, you may think it's some, more steps than it's worth. But the more you do it, the faster you get. You're gonna be doing this without even thinking about it in your head. So it's really, it's not that time consuming. Every design is going to be different. So you may run into those that are a lot more complex than others, but it's not difficult to do. And once you start doing it over and over, you will know exactly what you need to do. I don't really like that piece up there, so I'm actually going to hit undo I'm just going to delete that. I don't think it's really that necessary. And then I can come back, select my white, hold my shift key down, select all the pieces I want, paths, combine paths. And you're going to notice that I'm repeating this over and over, but it's not always the same steps. I'm gonna choose order, send to back. And in this case, I am going to, let's see if I move that, it's not knocked out. I'm going to select the white, here on the rocks as well. Um, the rocks, actually, I think I'm just gonna delete those. Again, not editing this, this is my design process. It may be different and you, you may have a completely different thing. Actually, you may come up with a different campfire design that the apprentice generates and it could be completely different. So this one here, I will knock that out. So I'm going to do, click on it, hold my shift key down, click on the black, Paths, combine paths. Now we have this. Is it a sun? Is it a moon? Is it, well, it should be a moon probably. Um, duh. Um, it's not knocked out. Do I want to turn that yellow? 
it wasn't in my let's see here why is it not fill yellow I can leave that as yellow and the clouds that don't have a bottom on them are hiding the rest of it I, I don't know you know uh, AI is pretty funny sometimes when you get into it but already that looks a little bit better now since I deleted the let's click select again since I deleted the white in the rocks up here I think I'm just gonna delete those hmm. this one here I don't know undo undo is your best friend whenever you're doing anything um, I'm not sure what I do with the rocks because if I delete all that white this rock here looks kind of weird so it's really personal preference you could come in here and you could change these I just noticed something else here everything is something stacked on top of each other so all of these little pieces here all of that black is some of these are connected to the outer black let's see here if I move this okay that is a white piece but this one here is its own separate piece so each one of these is going to vary a little bit too let's change this let's see if I can find a brown if you wanted to change your log to a brown color and then what I would do is use the eyedropper here and pick that color up and then oh, right here pick that color up change it and then you're you'd have to figure out what you want to do with that white piece maybe you make this a lighter brown mm -hmm. and then the white part a darker brown that looks kind of weird too looks like the flames are shooting out again um yeah there we go that's a little bit different you could you could work with it f4 to zoom out again kind of like that um it, it really all depends on what you want to do with your design so there is no and this is why it's really hard to teach exact steps to every single design when you're tracing i was talking with somebody this morning about tracing every design is different and the best thing you can do is start with a high resolution high quality image to be traced but your steps may not always be the same so if the more you can get into the software and start playing with the tools and using your undo button because if make a path doesn't do what you want it to do undo it and try something else in this case this little area here where the white was if we had make a path it's not going to do what we wanted it to do so we just we could just delete that so every single design could vary so i'm going to pop over actually it looks like i need to go to a new design mat i'm going to come over to my design library i'm going to open this rocket this is my son prompted me with rocket launcher he of course we, i asked him what prompts i should do and he was like uh i'm like Boy, my family has blank prompts with AI. I'm going to click open. And then yesterday's video that's linked in the description below, I was not sure if it was grouped as the backing. It is. When you bring these images in, they are the square images like a JPEG PNG file. So you need to right click and choose ungroup. And then you'll see all of those layers come out. And you can see in here we have quite a few layers too this one's a little bit simpler if i move this background away i can actually just delete that but you can see here if i zoom in i have black and i have white but if i want to keep the rocket that's fine the rocket looks great but i don't want the white in the middle down here and if i move it away it is you know it's black that's not what I want so I'm going to click on this hold my shift key down click on the other side and I want to leave these fins the parts of the rocket and then I'm going to click on the black right click choose paths combine paths now it turned all black I simply need to right click choose order and send to back and it it comes back again because whenever you change something it's going to bring that layer to the very front in front of everything else so I just have to send that to the back so it shows properly now we see all of these little bits and 
this looks really not good. This one here needs to go too. And then click, on, hold my shift key down, click on the black, right click, choose paths, combine paths, right click, choose send order and send to back. And then that looks a little bit better. You could decide here, except for this little random, um, you decide what you think it looks like piece. F3, I'm going to zoom in here. Um, I'm thinking 80s show, um, three dads, the beginning of that show, if you know what I mean. Uh, leave me a comment below if you actually know what that movie reference is. Um, I won't say the name of it. We'll see how many people know it. I'm going to delete that little piece. Looks like a flame. Um, or I could undo that, select both, left click. Um, yep, select both. Right click, choose order, no, paths, combine paths, and then right click on the black order, send to back. And still looks like <laughs> what I have in my head. Um, undo, 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 undo is your best friend. In this case, oh, I went too far. Redo is up here in the right hand corner. Redo that. And then I can simply just come in here and click that little white piece and um, delete it. Now you could also come in here and maybe what we want to do is choose my select tool, click on this little piece, click on this little piece. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. Let's see if this is going to work. If I were to control C, control V, duplicate those and then flip them, uh, mirror horizontal and move those over here. How does that look? I can add to my design. So F3 is going to zoom me in. I think that looks good. Let's look, view it at 100%. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe not quite 100%. I think that looks good. Um, I think this is supposed to be a shadow over on this side. So you could decide, again, undo. What do you think? Let me know below what you think if it should have more to the design. Just give your feedback. Um, these are just some tips that I hope will help you in your design process. It's not simply to work with the images from the new Leonardo Apprentice um, program, but it's images that I brought in that are great examples to show you that you may need to do some cleanup first off if you're using Apprentice, but even if you're using somebody else's design, you may need to do some cleanup. Every designer is different. I've mentioned that several times. Um, and it works for other designs as well. SVG files, PNG files that you're tracing. If you're tracing a JPEG file, you may find that you need to do some of these steps. So it is a great tool in your toolbox to know how these Leonardo Design Studio tools work, how to combine a path. What happens when you break a path? Do you need to do those steps or do you just simply need to delete a piece? There are lots of things you can do within the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software and we are all learning new things together. So let me know if you have any questions or feedback in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. Stay tuned for more. I've got lots to share. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.